Hey everybody, how's it going man? I know it's been a minute since I've done anything, but I've been really busy. As I said before, I have a store that I've been trying to put together. It's going to be mostly online. Um, a couple weeks ago, I finally made it through all this crazy paperwork. You got to go to get all kinds of licenses. Oh, I get a headache just thinking about it. Anyways, back here's one thing, pile of stuff I got in. I've got, let me see, as you can see right on the box, this stuff comes straight from Zotac. I got Zotac 3080 Ti's. I've got some 3090's from them coming. I'm not really fond with the, the shape of the Zotac's, but hey, 3090's a 3090, 3080's a 3080. But anyways, um, I have uh, over here, I even grabbed some older cards. I got some 50, I got some 56s, um, AMDs. I grabbed some 1650s, 1660s. I've got 3060s, 3060s. I, I got the whole line. I got the whole line. And if anybody has any doubt that I am scalping this shit, you're so far wrong because you don't get it from the manufacturer if you're doing that and you don't go out and buy a box full of CPUs when I when, when you can get them over at Newegg and you don't buy a mother book when you can get them at Newegg and you don't buy memory when you can so I'm buying everything I've got four more deliveries coming in this week and as soon as I square up with a few I just got a couple machines I gotta put together if you wanna call eight machines but and I picked up a little mini cooler master that somebody wants me to build them never done one of them looks interesting but then I'm going to start doing some online sales the websites being put together and probably even run some auctions some little special things some surprises whatever I don't know so wherever life takes us yeah baby okay Today what I wanted to go over is I'm building another water cooler because as for, you can see from the last video, I was going to be building that meta metallic gear Neo Cube, which has a motherboard in the back of it, which is, it has to be pretty much, well, you could probably put a mini ATX in there, but I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to be eliminating a lot of your room. But I have a mini ITX in there and I also ended up going with the 57 AMD 57 G in order to be able to get graphics because it's so difficult to get a graphic card there. but then I ended up building and I'm going to do a video on this I ended up getting a a um, extender ribbon 4.0 they're expensive oh my god and things are expensive I could have just gone into the BIOS and set it to 3 only and still got the same performance. Uh, you really, there's no difference. Um, and I am having this little custom ex exterior mounting system where the card is going to go right up on top and when I don't be, when I, when I, when I, when I don't need to be using it, the card's going to come off and it's going to run off of the 57G. If I don't need it at all, it's just going to run off the 57G. But anyways, what I wanted to get to today is I want to do a little unboxing and show you something. Because that radiator inside of my machine that was going to go in the front of that dual system I was building, again, the one in, in the back that you've seen, is going to be just for streaming. My system is going to be moved to the front. I have a 60 millimeter radiator. That thing wasn't fitting nowhere in there. So I ended up going back to a 30, picked up an Alpha Cool, and this is what I, I, I want to do. I'm going to do a, a, a build on this, a separate, I'm going to unbox this, and then I'm going to do another video on putting all this together. <laughs> all right, everybody. Yeah, we're back. We're back, and I'm going to put this thing together. Real quick, my, I think I've already said this, but my um, 
my alpha cool the 60 millimeter thick one that's in my case which is going in the front of that dual build um, it's it's too thick to fit anywhere it interferes because I'm, I'm doing more than one water cooling setup in it so I ended up going with a 30 I picked up a 30 millimeter um, and I put some 45 degree some 45 degree uh, angle fitting adapters on it they have a little swivel to them they, they won't leak like that um, I picked up some more actually this is uh, EK tubing very nice very nice stuff I'm going with exactly 17 inches because this case is pretty pretty um it's longer and with it going instead of going from the front I'm going from the side so I've got a little more of a loop so I'm going to go a little bit longer on on the tubing and the way I've been measuring it I found for me I mean anybody can do it any way they want but what I normally do is I just get a tape measure and I measure out the outer the outer fitting on the water block is about an inch further away so I give about an inch more on one part maybe three quarters of an inch as you can see okay so there we go there's about three quarters of an inch um, I, I usually just put white out and it's the reason why is it, it's easy to take off so again we're going with a 2600 RPM alpha cool water block with a built-in pump it's got a little window you can see everything doing its thing everything in there is made out of a nice strong ceramic basically it's almost a ceramic plastic type thing the metal on the bottom here is solid copper plate with nickel coating look how clean that is no rough no no rough grooves in that whatsoever um, I usually go all alpha cool but these were on sale and I, I couldn't turn them down they're, they're great um, these are EK as well what we have here is it would be 3 8 um, I'm sorry yeah 3 yeah 3 8 3 8 in a 5 16 outer um, these are going on the other side I have to if I want to put an additional card inside of my streaming rig because it's so limited in space the way it's designed I could only go with a low profile which are harder to find than these than the 30 series cards um, I had to set it up with some adapters which this this all this stuff is all alpha cool alpha cool tubing it's a thinner tubing as well easier to move around easier to, it's still going to get good good flow so that that's getting off track okay so we have this we have the alpha cool 45 degree as you can see they turn this isn't turning in, in there this is turning it's pretty cool the way it's sealed up but so I can adjust it because it was coming out to a point where it would have hit the fans almost it would have been rubbing up against um, nothing that would have hurt it still would have annoyed me oh people wild sticks wild dry you, you can't beat these things they're incredible I mean I love them they're thin they're easy they charge up quick they work great the bigger one really has some good torque on it um, so what I'm gonna do is you can go out and you can buy a, a cutter a hose cutter whether it be um, for solid or soft soft it's basically it's like a crimp you just put it on there it's got a razor it slices through hard 
and you can get one that's kind of almost like a plumber uses and you just put it on you spin it and then you got to do a little sanding with the hard tubing but again we're not going that route so what I'm gonna do here so I'm going to do here, people. Get this thing out of the way. What the heck? Um, I usually just use some scissors. Get some good sharp scissors. Find your spot. Keep it good and straight. Give it a little clip. I take my time with it until it breaks through. And voila. You see what I mean about easy to clean look at this I can rub it right off I'm gonna run it through water to clean the inside in case a little something fell in there so you always run them I've already ran this radiator for about three hours um, I ran it through the through the sink basically and hung it upside down and let it dry good and distilled water is gonna go in it with a mixture of um, Thermal take, radiator coolant. I usually don't go 100%. You got Linus says he swears that you can just use straight up distilled water. Um, I still would rather use a little bit of the the uh, the radiator coolant because it does have stuff in it that is anti corrosive and as well as um, you know fungus. Any anything can grow in there. Yeah, you don't want any goop growing in there. I stay away from all colors and stuff because I just see that as being a hazard, but maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, so again, 2600 RPM. Now the way we set these up, first what I'm gonna do is clean these with soap and water, so I'll be back. All righty. Yep, okay. There's still a little bit of white on there, but I'm not gonna sweat that. I got good lord. Oh, there goes the mic. Mike, come back. So you can as you can see we've got a little bit extra on here because this will go on the further one. And it's so easy. If you if you find this too much, adjust it. it, it these things pop on and off. So this is how we use it. Now some people might have a hard time slipping these on anything can work don't use an oil don't use WD-40 that that'll screw it right up big time some people just use a little bit of saliva I mean that's what I, I usually just wet it a little bit with a little spit spit will dry right out and won't hurt nothing and it just oops another thing that everybody forgets including me almost every time you gotta pop these suckers on these covers but see what I mean how much easier it is with a little little bit on there okay once you get it on give it a little couple turns it'll grab and basically it pulls this yeah you can feel it getting hotter excuse me um, it pulls that rubber hose right in there tight i'll tell you the truth it's so tight you probably don't even need this but this definitely prevents it from going anywhere okay so there you have it this is how the hose goes on i'm going to set the rest of these come back and I've got to get a power supply out and run a loop to it and we're going to get the water pumping through this. Um, I still have a few things I want to show you on the way. It's pretty simple and like I said this is going to go on this radiator that's going to be replacing my chrome setup that I built just a few months ago. Grow, grow, grow. Okay, go. Am I growing? Am I going? Um, you just gotta love Alpha Cool. You, you, you always use this one. This is the fill port. Check and make sure the rubber gaskets are in there. I found that both times I've received these during shipping, there's a little rubber gasket inside of there that goes down at the bottom. It's a little ring. And I found they fell out when one was. So it was in the box. I, I put them back in very gently and 
got him in there snug and we were we were golden um, there's one three pin power plug which controls the motor the pump and brings up the blue LED when you do hook this up you want to put it on the board to the header that says water pump water pump it's for a reason if you put it to system or any other one there's a good chance that it will vary meaning it, it, it'll pick up speed and slow down it'll pick up speed and slow down as the system goes along so one minute you're revving and the next minute you're not when you want it to keep a steady that's why they have one specifically made for, for a pump on the board okay we're back real quick 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 boom okay one of the things you will know yes I've got my my wet bench over here and I'm not going to be using this other than the pump now if you got a, a board on there anything connected to it disconnect it all you don't want anything going to it because you're gonna put a, what you're gonna do is they sell these pretty much anywhere this is gonna cause a loop so you can run your power supply to use for filling things up testing things whatever it may be the 8 pin everything's disconnected but the 24 pin now there's also another way of using it this was the way I <laughs> believe it or not I took two wires put it together I put some of these pins on them I had an old 24 pin that I basically cut off and you count one two three four on the fourth one over on the side your little hook is on the 24 pin you would have popped this in boom okay from four five sixth okay on the top away so you're going to be going left to right and the sixth one over you would put another one you're basically doing the same thing if you get one of these you can make your own but for like two dollars or something it's just easier to get one um, from Amazon they, they have them there okay so I gotta get some liquids filled up and stuff and we'll get busy okay so here we are I'll get this ready basically you're gonna look you're gonna find your little lever lever and just line it up with your 24 pin clicks on now when I power this up it's ready to put a loop through but okay as you can see I fill this up with I, I usually go probably 50 50 maybe even a little less 50 50 45 you know 45 55 40 60 whatever as long as there's I feel I feel a little more comfortable with having some um, radiator fluid in there which again it does help with the bacterias okay so one of the first things you want to do is you got to remember you always take this off before but right now it's going to stay on so if you're going to fill this you absolutely you know probably it doesn't I don't know these, these things take a lot of fluid that's what's so great about them and you got the little window you can see what you're doing as you can see it going in there it's another thing to be careful of that little gasket okay don't worry about getting every bit of air out of here 
it's probably easier to do it once you get the once you get all the tubes on and you use the release valve the, the pressure valve in it okay so we're going to get this back on and oh my double kit didn't come in i got a, another kit with a bunch of these the reason I order the kit with these specifically because of the type of metal it's made out of. It's it's more of a high magnetic. Anyways, I don't want to get into doing reviews on tools. So one thing I will tell you is every company that makes these fittings, EK, they make a specific tool that goes on this. EK is obviously hooks on somehow. And this may work. A bit but definitely not going to do the trick because I don't even know if these are like these are kind of like a custom by alpha cool uh, they might even be a generic but I know mod my mod sells them so I'm not sure but on the 3 8 the bigger ones like this that I use that were made by Alpha Cool. What I was getting at is they do make a specific tool that puts these things on. Basically, if it was an Alpha Cool, it hooks in and you can see how it would go into the pipe, slide down, and you get that little turn. Fortunately, these had enough of a grip to be able to get all the way all right and this end right here it's smoother and rounder it's used see how it fits right in it's used to snug things down okay you don't have to over tighten this stuff you don't have to squeeze it until your eyeballs pop out of your freaking head okay all right, some people put a pan underneath, and they, uh, you know, this is an old table. My ex girlfriend gave it to me, so if I was in concern, I, well, she kind of, when she, when we broke up, she left it, and uh, I'll burn the thing. I don't care. Nah, just kidding. Um, so, I had to think about that. <laughs> oh, what happened? It's probably my fault, anyways. Okay. So one thing you really need to do, and this is kind of important, is you're going to need a pair of pliers or you're going to need some vice grips. And you want to get yourself a little piece of whatever. Um, you can use cloth. You can use a paper towel. I'll show you in a second why. So if you could get some really thin vice grips or pliers, that would be ideal myself I don't have none right now but I've dealt with this before so you want to take something thin that can get in there without interfering with anything else you're doing and when you do tighten these you want to give them a little snug because a hand tight is good but you definitely want to feel it stop now I'm not going nuts I am just snugging it okay that one is snug if you don't put something over it obviously you're gonna tear the little you're gonna tear the little sh things apart the, the little okay that's golden so what we have, as you can see, not with my finger you won't, um, see, these do turn. So it's nice and easy to adjust them. And I've never seen one, I've never, ever have seen one leak. Have they probably? I would imagine, but 
Not on me. Okay. Yeah, you just always want to get, make sure everything's as clean as possible. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've seen how this is done. We've seen how this is done. And we've seen how this gets pre filled. Next, we're going to do this. I'm going to finish up on these hoses. And we'll be ready to rock and roll, people. Rock and roll. I am just so psyched. Psyched. I don't sound it right now because I'm really tired. I got up at 4 a.m. But I got my first shipment in yesterday. Well, late yesterday, early today, whatever you want to call. I just, <laughs> I've got four more shipments coming in all coming in from my distributors I did a little video on it but it turned out to be a lot longer than I wanted but there we go we got a whole bunch of goodies so I'm gonna be doing some build yes I have four more coming in like this and I'll be getting that on a weekly to every other week basis we have 57 AMD 5700 5600s 3060s, which are very hard to get. 3060, 3060 Ti's, 3080s, 3080 Ti's, no 3090s, and 3070, 3070 Ti's. We have 5900 CPUs, 5950s, 58s, 56s, a couple 36s, power supplies. Uh, what, what I'm trying to get at, people, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not a freaking, what am I hitting? I am not a scalper because this is the first thing. People see you got a video card or you go, oh, you're a goddamn scalper. No, I'm not. I took, took me eight months jumping through hoops. Eight months jumping through every hoop you can think and every kind of license and approval to get in with these people. And I finally did. And was it easy? No. And I can probably understand why a lot of people don't do it. But hopefully, I'll have my own shop someday. But right now, I like doing where I am and, and, and doing the way I'm doing it. It's, it's killing two birds with one stone. And I'm just on my first week getting real deliveries coming in, drops. And I'm going to start putting stuff together. I got some cases coming. And as soon as I get caught up with the people that I already have promised to do stuff for then i'm gonna have my website up i'll get it all out to you people and if you if i got some cards and you need a card i'll get you a card for for close to msrp as i can i'll get your machine whatever so anyways we're not doing that today so okay obviously uh i jumped the gun a little bit by putting these 45s on there um no harm, no foul. Basically, to fill this up, now that I know it's been cleaned thoroughly, you start filling. Okay, so the reason I um, took those 45s off was it is easier to put them on after you do the hose because I'm not really used to using 45s a lot, but these spin. So get them all connected to the hose, fill up your tube in. Got a little more to do yet. And then now that everything's put together, you can put them where you want. Instead of running around in circles with everything, everything's easy to fill. So, where did we start, mommy? Okay. We start right here. Check, make sure you have your little O-rings in there, your little rubber rings. And again, you just want to tighten till snug. Hand tight, that's it. No need to sock these things down like a, like, like you're working on an 18 wheel. Okay, 18 wheel. All right, all right. So oh, this, you know, I get, you gotta love like EK. 
Alpha Cool. I mean, everything is just so right in line. I do like these fittings. I like the Alpha Cool, but I really do like these too. These are nice. And these are going on the other one. I've got more of them. I just wanted to. These right here are metric size. They're looking at a an eight. No, is it eight? Eight eight slash eleven. So you got eight millimeters to eleven out of eight in a eleven out of. These are like ten sixteen. Some crazy number. Anyways, it, they all come close to uh, um, American measurements like um you can compare a 10 to a 3 8 just about so if you're using it in a hose it'll stretch and the only problem you may have is if you don't have if you're using something that goes over these that could cause you problems so what we want to put on next is the pump this is going to go on last obviously because it is what gets tightened last okay make sure you got your rings on that rings on that and you're looking there there should be some little rubber washes little rings in there and you want to make sure they're okay they are in good all right so you're just going to take this, this is the way I do it. I mean, I've seen people do some pretty elaborate things, but do we have enough fluid in there? It doesn't matter what it does, but there is a reason for a fill tube. It's, it doesn't have nothing going to it. <laughs> okay. Oop, 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 oop. These are all waterproof. Even you could put this whole thing under water; it wouldn't hurt nothing. You just line it up. Daisy, daisy. Oops, get that out of the way. We don't want to have that stuff spilling all over the place. There you go. Now you can always move this stuff. Now I'm looking at this. I know where it's going to go. I want this hose to come around enough. Actually, I may not. Okay. So I'm going to pull this hose. I'm going to tighten it down. And then I'm going to readjust this hose. A little bit of heat. You can put them hoses any way you want. And you're only going to put it hand tight. These are a nylon fitting inside of there. It's not a metal fitting, so don't go berserk with it. And then you just turn your tubing. Turn your tubing. And get it pretty close to where you want it. That's it. And we're going to finish up in one second. Pretty simple, huh? We'll, we'll see how we do the fill in a second. Okie doke, okie doke. Okay, so this part can pretty much be preference. Now you know which way you want this to go. We know we got this going this way. We know we've got our holes in pretty much lined up where we want it. Myself, I usually put closest, furthest furthest closest okay it makes up for the lost difference the same way I did the hose we're gonna move this over here so it can't tip and we're gonna get this lined up and there she goes already tightening down And 
that's pretty much the way it goes. It's it's really not as half as hard as a lot of people would think. It takes a little time. I just find a little more satisfaction in doing things myself. Oops, I kind of got the metal there. Did I mess it up? No. Okay. A little bit of black paint and touch it right up if you do, but regardless, you try not to. And you know when it's down. See that? It's down. Okay. So we'll get that other one done. And then I will show you how things work with the fill. Okay, kids. <laughs> really? No kids? I ain't a kid. All right, so this is where we're at with this. Everything's been tightened down. I like it. I, well, I actually really do like the way this adjustment stuff works. It's probably something I might start using a little bit more instead of struggling on where you want to put your hoses, how you want to put them. I mean, sure as I am. I could always flip them. I don't like the way they look. But again, it's probably going to be almost on an angle like so. Yes, kind of like this. So that'll look pretty good. Would have been going under. Yeah, you can't win no matter what you're going to get something out. So what we want to do is get our nifty wifty little tool. And we're going to open this up. Okay, so the reason you see why I place the radiator up on the box, and I'm probably going to end up picking it up eventually and moving it a little bit, is because you always want the radiator to be higher than the pump. Never have the pump higher than the radiator. Most important thing, whether you're standing it up in the back of the computer, on the top of the computer, on the side of the computer, to the front of the computer, you want these hoses above. You want the top of this radiator where the hoses come out above that pump you get water you get air in that pump and it's not going to take long before that pump is no good so <laughs> absolutely absolutely okay so let's fire it up and see if it's quiet hums screams makes a noise yells for help something and we have takeoff Houston we have lights Okay. Oh boy, it went down. Yep. But it's still well within the zone. Let me pump a little more water in there. Hear that? Listen. It's working its way through, but the pump is not dry. We'll let it run. I'm going to definitely put in a little more fluid, obviously. Right, that's just air going through. It does get a little weird. But as long as that... radiator is above the pump... Hear it clearing up? Listen. I'm sorry about all the noise. My window's open. It's rainy out, but it's a beautiful day. It's cool. A little difference. It's starting to clear out. It's going to get a little noisy here and there because when I pick it up and move it, more air is going to come flying out somewhere.
I'm not going to worry about the wires right this moment. I mean, the, the hoses. Actually, I can just let it swing. Swing! So let's move it around. You definitely want to do this. See that? It takes a little bit. We'll let it run for a few minutes and get more air out. Okay, so here we are finishing up. Finishing up. You weren't going to believe this, but I walked away. And I didn't use my boom mic today. I used the lavalier. I just didn't feel like hooking up. And I took the bloody camera right with me. I ripped the cable. Thank God it didn't break off in the camera. So now, it looks like we got the majority, I would have to say, the large majority of water out of this. Later on, we'll clean this up good. You want to wipe down wherever you use this stuff. It seems to have a, it leaves a film. I mean, it looks, looks great inside of these things. It doesn't, it leaves a film on everything else. So, we're going to let it run for a period of at least 24 hours. Let any little tiny bubble, tiny bubbles. Um, see, that's just a little bit, but it's still coming out. I want to get it down to maybe one little tiny like in the corner. And I'll be happy. But that's why you got to keep doing this and this. Some say leave a little bit in there. It gives you an idea. And you know something? They may be right. But uh, I'm going to give it one more quickie before I tighten this down for the night but that's pretty much it folks I know I'm crushing the mic right now okay sometimes it's deceiving you get a little tiny bubble in there and it Tomorrow, this will be all, it'll have another, probably one more good bubble in it. If you're having a hard time hearing me, it's because I got the radiator against the, <laughs> sorry about that, against the microphone, but, hey, thanks God, it's Saturday. I've got a pack, boy, I got to unpack freaking boxes I got more boxes expected in today oh man I got four big shipments coming next week I'm gonna be busy I'm gonna be busy okay so pretty much whoops we don't want to do that pretty much that's it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this next time we watch this um, It'll be when I'm putting the fan on it and sticking it in the computer. And I'll remind you what we did. So I hope this helps everybody. And hey, don't be afraid to try this on your own. It's really, it's, it's not that hard. It's not like you've got to be soldering stuff and doing nothing crazy. I mean, everything's made for you. It's, it's fun. Well, for me it is. All right. You everybody, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Well, I don't know if it'll be weekend when you see this, but have a great everything. And we'll be seeing you. And remember, I will be getting some, st I, well, I will have some stuff. I've got stuff now. If I, I can't get rid of 50, 100 video cards. I know that's the hard thing to get, but maybe I can help someone out out there, here and there. First things come first is getting all my builds done for people that need their builds. After that, we'll be free and clear. 
Thanks Zotac for getting me a bunch of stuff over here, EVGA and MSI. Thank you so much. Again, I'm not being, I'm not being sponsored by anybody, but I'd like to thank Alpha Cool for just being there. Titan Rigs, being there, a Titan Rig. Awesome place. Mod My Mods, awesome place. And please remember, give me a thumbs up. And Mod My Mods, I seen your new shirt. Send one on over to me. Kevin, you can get a hold of me. Okay? Take it easy, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.